I'm Dr. Mike Mandel and today we're going to be talking about hypnosis. I'm going to be demonstrating the Dave Elman induction, the one he's most known for. And the reason I'm putting this out there is there's so many horrendous versions of it and there really are no versions of the Elman induction. You either do it correctly or incorrectly. So I'm going to show you the best way to do this where you can produce a somnambulistic trance very, very rapidly with the subject even if they've never experienced somnambulism before. This is not an instant induction. I, although I do teach those, this is a rapid induction. It's a very quick way to get to where you need to be in trance. So here's how the Elman induction works. This is Andrea and um, she's volunteered to be a subject. We have not you know, planned anything in the sense of what you're seeing is actually as it happens. So let us begin. Andrea, can you imagine uh, making a fist so tight that you couldn't possibly squeeze it any tighter? Yes. Sure. I mean, it's obvious. I mean, anybody can imagine that, right? So can you imagine the opposite, relaxing your hand so much that as long as you hold on to that relaxation, it just won't work? Why not? That's the kind of relaxation, the quality of relaxation I want you to get with this induction. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to relax the tiny muscles around your eyes so much that as long as you hold on to that relaxation, they just won't work. Now, anytime you want, you could open your eyes, but I'd rather you hold on to the relaxation and stay in control by keeping them closed. So you'll boing your eyebrows up and down, give them a good test, and you'll discover it feels kind of interesting, but as long as you keep those muscles relaxed, your eyes just won't work. So close your eyes now. Relax those tiny muscles around your eyes absolutely, completely, and give them a really good test. Put your eyebrows up and down, see, okay, good, that's perfect. So stop testing, keep your eyes shut, and let a huge wave of relaxation go from the top of your head right down to the soles of your feet. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and I'll pass my hand in front of your eyes. And when I do, I would like you to close your eyes immediately following my hand down and double your relaxation. Just go twice as relaxed instantly so you can open your eyes and double that relaxation as you follow the hand down. That's right. Make it happen. Want it to happen and it will happen. I can't do it for you. Eyes open and closed again. Double it again. Just permit yourself to wrap in a warm blanket of relaxation and sink way down and open and closed again. Double the relaxation. Make it happen, want it to happen, and it will happen. That's right. And open, open, and closed again. That's right. And continue to go deeper, dub doubling the relaxation every time. And open and closed. And sink way down, relaxed, open, closed, way, way down. Now this is fractionation. I've done it six times, which is all you really need. After this, the law of diminishing returns kicks in and you won't get much more relaxation than this. So Andrea, in a moment, I'm going to pick your right hand up by the thumb, just a few inches to test your relaxation. Let me do all the lifting. Don't help me at all. And when I drop your hand, it'll fall just like a wet dishcloth. So I'm going to pick it up now. That's it. And perfect relaxation. Let another wave of relaxation go through your entire body. Well, this is physical relaxation, but there's also another side to this, which is mental relaxation. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to begin counting backwards out loud from 100, like this. 100. Deeper relaxed. And I want you to let those numbers just fade out of your mind. Then you'd say 99. Deeper relaxed. And as you count, the numbers will fade or just drop out of your mind. So after saying just a few numbers, there won't be any left to say they'll all be totally gone. So you can mentally relax by counting backwards from 100 now. 100, deeper relax. Deeper relax. And now just drop the numbers out of your mind. All gone? 98, okay. Relax. Banish the numbers, push them out of your mind. Wipe the slate clean. That's right, just push the numbers out. All gone? Excellent. So don't even concern yourself about the numbers. Just continue to go deeper and deeper and really enjoy that trance state. So now we have a somnambulistic trance. We know because we have number block. And once we have number block like this, we have the working state of hypnosis where we can create just about anything we need. Now if I touch the back of her neck now, it'll feel like ball bearings, the way her head is on her neck. And that's one of the great tests for somnambulism, that kind of total physical relaxation plus the mental relaxation that is indicated by the numbers disappearing out of her mind. So this is how you get to somnambulism nice and fast. It'll only take you a few minutes, a few caveats. 
if your person is counting down and down and down and the numbers aren't going, um, pick up their finger or their thumb again and say, this time when I drop it, the numbers will drop out of your mind and drop it down uh, firmly. And then you say, all gone. And they'll say, yes. You want to say, are they gone? Or you want to say, all gone. You don't want to say, are the numbers still there? Because if you say that, you'll bring the numbers back again. So ask if they're gone. And sometimes, um, the person will get aphasia, as, as Elman pointed out. They just won't say anything, but the numbers aren't gone. It's just too much trouble to say it. Their mind is slowing down. They're going into a deep trance. So instead, you have to get a response when you say, are the numbers all gone? Get them to either nod or say yes or something. And then you will know that it's not aphasia, but the numbers are wiped out and the person is in the somnambulistic state. And Andrea, you can come back to the surface only when you realize you've learned even more about hypnosis now. Hi. Hi. Excellent. The Omen Induction.